Sometimes we have it in news in the open AI market about some new technology and everything. It's not yet there to create one full video, but I think it's very good to compile all of these kind of interesting updates, what's happening in one video and release for you. So let's go see what's new out there. As a big whale of DeepSeek arrived to AI market, it's created a huge splash with R1 model. It's in fact, it created so big impact even on Nvidia stock. It's literally drop billions hundreds of billions of dollars down in a stock market value it is currently recovered which is good because as the smoke and all this dust settled down from this huge pr announcements more people realize it's not what it seems to be well on first let's go see on how they achieve this result and of course they achieve by allowed other AI model where the people spend billions and billions of dollars train their model. So they're not technically gone around and collect all this information, properly process, create the model from scratch. No, it was based on some other model. It's a very similar when you're going and train a LoRa, for example, or any other model, base it on other people model. You can go beat yourself in the chest with a, your fist and screaming, look what I done for pennies when those companies spend hundreds, thousands or millions and billions of the dollars. So it's not was necessarily true. And in fact, right here, OpenAI says that DeepSeek and properly was using the data connect to API to train the models. And despite OpenAI um, accuse of deep sick doing this but uh, i don't think they will go more with legal because well let's say the open ai was using open source or public domain data to train themselves so technically i don't think they have legs to stay they could probably cut off the access to the api more control and this stuff um kind of for the future this but in current station i don't think they have legs to continue with the legal on this However, if you watch my previous video on DeepSeek, you found that um, many of the claims is not true. For example, one of them that says our R1 model, which is a distilled smaller model, almost perform on the same level as the ChatGPT, which is totally false. And simple tests can showing you this. But besides, if you're going to use it their own server, you run into a lot of different problems. And one of the problem is censorship. In the video I even showing when you try to ask the they build censorship inside. Um, OpenAI, for example, work a little bit different. The main model built without censorship. It's actually provide you any answer you want to ask. Well, they have another model on top of this, which is work after, which is look on the text what it was created and says, hey, you know what, it does not fit in what we want to provide. So they do have a censorship. This makes sense because you don't want every information maybe it's harmful to the people can be available there but they are trained however the deep seek um, data set model it's trained internally on the, with a censorship because uh, some questions when you ask and you can again watch that video below when we put this to the test you can find out it is um, doesn't provide you all information and it's getting even worse for example, with researchers found the data leak and expose inside the deep seek. So whatever using deep seek application, the information store on the, in China service and they provide to the government and other all data about all users, everything. Yes, your information that you're putting there go directly pipe into says, hey, we need to watch for this person. So it is all open for the government. There's no precisely what you was doing and they can trace you well to the point that actually uh, US lawmakers pushing down to ban this AI due to those security breaches censorship monitoring and other things well here's another even things and you say well you know what yes they did took some stuff from open AI they took from there they still kind of well stealing borrowing we can say stuff from this but I don't think it just step stop only there let's look just on even their logo and you can see deep seek logo well what about this logo from kaspersky well it's a well-established antivirus um, company based in russia but look on the font you know they even took a logo from somebody else what is can tell you 
Well, you know what? If you can create, just borrow. Researchers from ByteDance, the owner of TikTok, reveal the OmniHuman one a video model that is performed unbelievably realistic. Well, I will provide link for you down below so you can check by your own. It is not available for us to play with yet. And I think it will come first probably in TikTok or other applications, but we can see what it can do. Well, keep in mind, you know, um, personally, I'm very skeptical around some of this stuff. We need to see the model, how it will perform, because if you remember Zorro, original one is showing from OpenAI, it was look very impressive. Well, till you actually start working, you find a little bit quirks. So I think this will be similar there. Of course, they pick up the best, best examples and showing you how it's look. But so let's go ahead, check some of those examples. Okay, and we go start playing. And you can see animations on our hands. Well, again, link down below, you can go check by yourself. It is very distinct, is distinguishedly. Well, at least they have a proper amount of hands and other stuff. Excellent animations going on there. And most important, look on these people. And I know about this because they have, I had the opportunity to stand on top of the Olympic podium and feel the weight of that gold medal around my neck. And I wouldn't have been there had it not been for the so it, it is from all these examples that will provide real human look too real, you know, at almost to point or distinguish very easy. Um, I bet it is still be probably about 10 seconds because most models after 10 seconds productions, it's in um, similarity start dissipating, models start losing connection, it will kind of start degrading and create. So we'll see if they solve this problem or not. But it is, uh, so far, I can see very impressive. I also think this model will be find a very good home at the TikTok when people create it, which is bring us to the point, don't trust your eyes, okay? Have the critical thinking because I'll see how a lot of now, because they look realistic, everything. Now you will have it, all political speech leaders will speak nonsense okay or some other things happen so now it's become very important to have this critical thinking to think does it real other person will say that stuff or it's created by ai personally i will always right now i'm always approaching my point i'm thinking this is was made by ai <laughs> if uh you know if i don't have it opposite uh, documented that is not AI. So it's, a, it's a getting quite a bit messy things. It's almost to the point when first, you know, printing start coming and all these newspapers, everyone print whatever they want it. And for people hard to know what's true or not. But I would recommend for you to go check by yourself this model, what it can perform, how it's look. Um, but looking forward, this is nice, nice competition. Well, if you ever done with a 360 environment and I have a video down below when we create it on your own computer using VR set you can create those nice virtual 360 environments you also can use them inside your video games if you created programming or anything the only one problem with creating those environments the one of course you need a good hardware to do this have some problem with the uh, staging but that is all technical it can be overcome but none of the models was creating HDR and HDR is providing 32-bit floated uh, float point um, image it's meaning it's more lighting information embedded in this and that is become crucial when you work and created those uh, worlds inside the video games so now this from Skybox AI from Blockdale labs they just announced that they have it their own 36 uh, 32-bit truly HDR available so it's meaning you have it very nice colors very nice gradients and, um, you have a true light source pointing so they start highlighting your object and other thing properly I mean this is a huge step beside if you never try this they have a free access to the application online you can actually go and create and look on this this is a 360 view and you can download your glasses, download an environment. Look how beautiful it is. Nice. I mean, it's high, high quality 360 environments AI generated. Another interesting thing, if you have it, well, 
pay model because they have this for free you can create it but create a little bit more advanced you do need purchase some credits and other things but if you purchase it will generate for you also 3d terrain so it's meaning if you do your world beside have this environment around lighting and the cloud and full environment outside it also will create for you generate terrain in the 3d space so you can easily apply to your video games or other things and interact with the shapes of terrain that is just generated now just one small thing so one kind of point with a jet gpt because they announce oh we have the task and everything but this is for expensive you know you need to pay a lot of money to access and one nice things come up from deep seek because they steer all this market certainly now jet gpt feel competitions feel a little bit more pressure and for example now even plus have it access to the scheduled task so you can try experiment this plus additional voice and other stuff so it is um bad and good how i say from deep seek but it does affect open ai to let more service to use it for the plus members and also now it's a uh, from i understand mini one or two mini available just for free use for anyone as well and i want to share also some new development from firefly ai couple of this one is introducing fast mode but it's it is expanding so it's meaning you can go around you can select the image and create up to 2k so it is upscaling new upscaling which is hope will be on the level same with the, like mage and some other ones engines and uh, you can experiment it does you need to pay some credits what you have its uh, resource to this however another things beside upscaling they also have a generate video it is in a beta mode right now so it's hopefully you'll have it access right here and you can see it's actually work not bad you have it options when you create it which one what format of the screen frames per second you have it your camera adjusting if you have it uh, type of lens close up wide sector all other things additional type of the motion which is kind of nice you have it panning tilt zoom in zoom out and of course additional uh, settings for the seed if you want to and here of course you can generate your image let's go ahead and play and you can see um, <laughs> it's my underwater submarine jumping out of water it actually did do what I asked uh, a little bit silly looking but there you go of course that will require a little bit more testing and i'm looking forward to play with this and compare this side by side with a sora and see which one working better and also with other models um, like runaway or other things will be interesting notice right here we also have it frames similar to other things it's when you can take your still image upload it and reference the still image to create animations based on this so that could be very <laughs> excitement uh, test this week well thank you for watching and hopefully you like this short overlook what's happened what's coming what's releasing and give me more ideas what you want to see we'll see you next time